main idea is to just bring art out on the streets, not just museums and galleries. A lot of people find those intimidating places to experience art. And uh, so the idea is just to drive our art around. And I hadn't really had art since grade school, but the car seemed like something that wasn't too intimidating for me to decorate versus a fine art painting on a canvas, which I still can't do. I am what I call a visionary artist. I work off of visions. Um, we are self-funded. We don't get funding for appearances, generally. We drive them every day. I have six to seven art cars. My daughter now has one. And uh, it's a part of our life. And I would not drive a plain car. So I was basically decided to make my car heaven and hell car which is uh, not a serious religious thing at all. So there was a little bit of jabbing back at religion in my car, but mostly a playful attitude about it to try to lighten it up. A little good, a little bad, like most folk. That's kind of my theme. I also like a lot in the Latin American religious art, especially your primitive Santos carvings. Down in the hell part, I don't have saints, but I do have some devils and snakes and things, and there are some little skulls and on the foreheads of the skulls, it says why they went to hell. I guess it's a ministry that we have with our artwork, is that we try to promote the fact that Jesus loves freaks, and we're all freaks. It's our daily driver. We drive it all over the country. This woman's holding the bell just like that the whole time I'm driving. So I'm giving angels wings constantly. I found a mannequin for sale for $20, a female mannequin. I said, that's a bargain. I'll take that one home and put it on the truck. I said, well, it must be the fall of Eve. Then I had to go on, online and get Adam, and he's on the other side. And then, of course, I had to have the snake. And then, of course, I had to have the people who were tempted and the people who were not tempted. And the Garden of Eden just emerged. It's my daily car. It's the only car I have. So if I go to the grocery store, it's what I drive. And it can have more of a wow factor to the public there than it does an art festival even, because they just don't expect to see it in the grocery store parking lot. Uh, hardly anybody can walk by this car without making a comment, or smiling, or waving, or taking a picture even in the middle of the night from the passing lane going 65. For some reason, it's sort of like stickers and young children. There's something about it that connects with the American people. And if all you have to do to, do to make people happy and smile is to drive an art car, well, it's easy enough. Why not?